orange. Welcome to Run Like You're On Fire. Uh, going to review the Salming Speed 3. Now, they've been out quite a while. They've been replaced by a few models. But, they are still available on some great offers. Seriously, a shoe worth looking at. These laces are don't come as standard. I've added them uh, because I like the elasticated laces. They don't come undone. I can just stick my feet straight in, don't have to worry about it. So don't expect these if you buy them. Spec for these shoes, uh, there's a 5mm heel drop. Uh, the stack height at the heel is 21mm and 16mm in the forefoot. They are quite a low profile shoe. They are, as they're called, speed. They're designed to be fast. And this is a fast shoe. Really only, I would only recommend these if you do tend to run on your forefoot, um, as with uh, most lower drops, it is designed to, to get you onto the front of your foot um, and avoid less issues. There's not really enough uh, cushioning on here if you're landing on the heel, so be warned. As you can tell, they've had quite a lot of use. Uh, I've put it just under 300 miles on these. Um, Probably don't expect to be getting too much more, um, but we'll go into that later. The retail price of these is quite, quite pricey, uh, £120. However, I paid £30 for them. And well, they're even available on offer now if you can find them in the right size for, for £20. Um, which, I mean, what can you buy for £20 that's any good? They are one of my favourite shoes to run in. That's not to say they they don't have flaws, um, but let's say I like these shoes. What have we got with durability? Uh, the only things really we're looking at is uh, on the uppers. The uppers are completely intact, but as you can see, some of the paint uh, is coming off the... Uh, the midsole area. Uh, the rubber's doing okay. Um, as you can see, there's rubber on the sort of the bits where you you're going to make most contact. Um, some of the areas that aren't covered, like the foam here, uh, has worn down more as you'd expect, um, but it's not too bad. Uh, I do run on the outside rather too much on my right foot so you can see it's a bit trashed there um, but there's still there's still some miles out of it uh, the left shoe is probably looking a fair bit a fair bit better so what do I like about this shoe well it is it is fast it's a light shoe uh, I've weighed this which is a UK men's size 10 at around about 220 grams and um, so it is on the on the lighter side which does mean it's fast you can race in these you can do uh, your faster workouts um, and they really like first time i put them on you can see it, it just wanted to go faster um, and the, the more you you feel as you're putting the power down it's efficiently driving you forward for a fast shoe, it's also comfortable. Um, there's a fair bit of padding on the tongue and on the heel. Um, foot doesn't slip about too much. There's, there's a fair bit of room in the toe box. However, it does tend to run a little bit on the long side. Um, so I, to get, because I've got slightly wide feet, um, I went, I sized up half a size to a 10. Um, which fits perfectly, but it, it does run a little bit long. Now, it doesn't seem to be a problem when running. I don't have any issues with that, but 
it does feel a bit weird the first time uh, you, you put them on. It does seem to be a common uh, a common issue uh, with with their shoes. They do tend to, to run a bit long. Uh, the upper, it's nice and breathable, uh, but you've still got some protection on the toe and on the heel uh, to, to lock your heel in. So there is structure there. Um, this shoe would definitely be a possibility for uh, if you wanted to, to run a fast marathon. Uh, but again, you'd want to put a lot of miles in this to, to make sure um, you your legs are okay um, with a, a less cushioned shoe and again um, really needs to, to be a, a four foot strike for these. The looks, uh, I like the looks, I think they look great, nice and bright, orange and luminous green, it certainly makes a, a statement. So dislikes about this shoe. Um, well, at the price I paid for them, I don't have any issue with, with, with price. However, £120 is, is a bit much, really. Uh, I'd never pay that much for, for any, any shoe anyway, which is why I always get offers um, and I get older models. Um, but, yeah, full price, incredibly expensive. Uh, the only issue with looks does tend to be actually they, they really like to put their brand name everywhere on the shoe so you've got it here you've got it there you've got it on the back you've got it on the tongue um, yeah it's a bit weird they could be more durable but I guess to, to make them more durable they would probably have had to added something on which would would have made them heavier so not too much to complain about really. Uh, I like these so much, this is actually my third pair. Uh, I put a lot of miles in them. Uh, I use them for uh, tempo workouts, for intervals, for hill sprints. Um, I have used them in a race, although I do tend to use an even lower um, profile one uh, for the race, uh, but they're perfectly acceptable for, for races up to up to marathon again if you've you've trained in them and if you, you bought them cheap well you could even use them for for just daily miles um, at 20 to 30 pound if you having to replace them fairly frequently it's it's not a big deal is it so overall what do i think of this shoe well as shown by the fact i've had three pairs i've got another pair waiting I really like the shoe. Uh, at £30 or even £20, I think there's nothing really to complain about this shoe and I would give it a complete 5 out of 5. Great shoe. At £120, I think you could ask for more. I think you could ask it to last longer. So I'd probably only give it 3 out of 5, but I didn't pay £120, I paid £30. And that's spot on. Hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, have a look about at these one uh, company, the company that I bought them from, Start Fitness in the UK. Uh, I don't have any affiliation to them, um, but that's where I was able to get them at this cracking price. Um, so feel free to have a have a look, and hopefully uh, they've got your size. Sadly, they've no longer got my size, um, or I'd have bought more. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you want. See you next time. And also, while they could be more durable, I guess they'd have had to have made them lighter, heavier rather.